Ladies and gentlemen, inductee John Aubrey Fott Thomas. John Aubrey Thomas Jr. was born on January 8, 1940 to John Aubrey and Johnny Phillips Thomas in Albertville. He had two sisters, Josie Elizabeth Betty Jolly and Tina Cotton. He was given the nickname Fott as a boy because his father was often called Fat. The father and son team then became known as Fat and Fott. After World War II, football fortunes in Albertville reached their glory days and Thomas wanted to be a part of the Aggie tradition. As a freshman on Hall of Fame coach Ralph Reed's first team, John helped the 1954 Aggies to finish 9-1 with a fourth place ranking in the state. As a sophomore, Fott became a full-time starter for the next three years. Head football coach Ralph Reed is shown alongside the Aggies' new head basketball coach, Shannon Sloan. Both were inducted into the first class of the Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame. In 1956, Birmingham News Hall of Fame sports writer Hal Hayes selected an anonymous 20-man panel of longtime Albertville residents to vote for the all-time great team for the first 50 years of Aggie football. Only 11 players were so honored for this distinction. Tonight, John Aubrey Thomas Jr. becomes the 10th of that exalted 11-man roster to be inducted into the Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame. Hayes had this to say about the young 11th grader being a part of that team. John Thomas was but a junior, six games into his third season with the Aggie varsity when these ballots were first offered. Yet he was dubbed a can't miss. One person went so far to write, if he quit right now, he'd still belong on Albertville's all-time great team. As a 1954 freshman, Thomas returned 13 punt. Going on offense in 1955, he rushed for 856 yards. As a junior, he gained 1,056, a school record that was to stand only one year. In football 57, the bullet running, 190 pound flash ripped off 1,106 yards. Thus, counting the 207 he gained as a freshman, he ended his storybook career with 2,225 yards and 64 touchdowns. After the tragic death of Coach Ralph Reed in August 1957, Bobby Golden took over as the Aggies head football coach for John's senior year. Coach Golden is shown here receiving a ride on the shoulders of his players after an Aggie victory against Boaz in 1957. In 1957, the state of Alabama would see many significant athletic events. The John Thomas-led Aggies would be in the midst of an eight-year run of winning seasons, a record that has not been duplicated in the second 50-plus years of Albertville football. The Auburn Tigers would go 10-0 to win the national championship of college football and would also win the battle to sign All-State running back John Aubrey Thomas Jr. to their roster for the 1958 freshman class. This article from the Gadsden Times shows that three of the state's top players all went different directions. Pat Trammell of Scottsboro to Alabama, George Lee Porch of Fort Payne to Tennessee, and John Thomas to Auburn. John was also a two-time All-Marshall County football player and best offensive player. The Gadsden Times selection of the 1957 All-Marshall County team revealed the unanimous choice of Thomas of Albertville and Hall of Fame inductee Eugene Grief of Gunnersville. Future Hall of Fame inductees also included Frankie McClendon and Gilmore Brannon. Shown here are the three Aggie All-County selections, Thomas, Brannon, and end Buddy Hanson. The Birmingham Post-Herald first team All-State squad included both Pat Trammell of Scottsboro and of course John Thomas of the Albertville Aggies. Co-captains of the Aggies in 1957 were John Thomas and receiver teammate Buddy Hanson. John was also an outstanding baseball player. Thomas is shown here receiving the Outstanding Athlete Award from Coach Golden at the Aggies Athletic Banquet. After football at Auburn, John returned to Albertville to help run the family business, P&J Pharmacy, and married Peggy Whitmire Boaz. J. Aubrey Sr., John, his sister Betty, and Peggy all helped to operate the drugstore. John and Peggy have two sons, John Aubrey III and Dow. The Thomases also have a granddaughter, Emmeline, who is a cheerleader at Southside High School in Etowah County. As a proud native of Albertville, John has served the First United Methodist Church, the Albertville Chamber of Commerce, and the Albertville City School Board. Sadly, John Aubrey Thomas Jr. passed away on January 3, 2003.
However, his legacy as one of the most electrifying football players in Marshall County history still lives on today. Ladies and gentlemen, Class of 2015 inductee, John Aubrey Fott Thomas.